UK Foreign Office Minister Sir Alan Duncan has quit the government ahead of Boris Johnson's expected arrival in 10 Downing Street. As Sky News reporter Tom Rayner explains, there is likely to be a number of ministerial departures in the coming days. Uh, in that letter that Sir Alan Duncan has published, he says to Theresa May that he's sorry that her three years as Prime Minister has been brought to an end and adds, you deserved better. Um, but this very clearly uh, a preemptive strike, if you like, against uh, Boris Johnson, who is now widely anticipated to become Prime Minister on Wednesday. It follows the resignation of Margot James last week when she chose to rebel against the Conservative Party in the House of Commons on that vote on uh, an amendment which seeks to try and make it much more difficult for uh, an incoming Prime Minister to prorogue or suspend Parliament in order to push through a no-deal Brexit. Um, the likelihood is this will not be the last resignation that we see. Indeed, Philip Hammond, the Chancellor, and uh, David Gork, the Justice Secretary, both indicated at the weekend that they intend to resign before they can be sacked uh, by Boris Johnson, whether that will take place tomorrow morning or whether they will uh, keep their seats on the front bench uh, to sit alongside Theresa May as she delivers her last Prime Minister's questions tomorrow is yet to be seen. But all of this is uh, intended to be very symbolic, to show that ultimately Boris Johnson is going to face similar, albeit from a different side of the, uh, of the uh, political spectrum, challenge in the way that Theresa May did.